And now I am talking to Kozan Kokai, who is a member of the Dublin Zen Centre, and we are in the Dublin Zen Centre itself at the moment in Temple Bar. Kozan, how's it going? Not too bad, not too bad. All right, cool. Kozan, I love the Zen proverbs, uh, Zen Buddhist proverbs I've read over the years, and I've saved JPEGs of over 100 of them on my blog. I don't know much else, though, I have to say about Zen Buddhism, and some of our listeners on today and near around will probably know even less. Could you start off, Kozan, by telling me a bit about yourself, please? and how you got interested in Zen Buddhism. And then can you tell us a bit more about what Zen Buddhism is exactly? Sure. Well, um, I said my name is Kozan. Um, now, that's my Buddhist name, okay? So I got that name when I became a Buddhist. Um, my parents called me Ruri. So, you know, in day-to-day life, I'm Ruri. But in, so as a Buddhist, I'm uh, Kozan. Um, and I am actually, well, I'm a member of the Dublin Zen Centre and Zen Buddhism Ireland, and I'm actually a priest in training, so I'm training to become a Buddhist priest. So I ordained, I took ordination vows a few years ago, so I'm a, I'm a Buddhist priest in training. Um, but I've been practising Zen Buddhism for six years, and I've been practising within Buddhist schools for 12 years now. Um, I came to Buddhism, and I suppose I was born and raised Catholic, like a lot of Irish people, and I, I, I believed, I guess, and I believed more I suppose, than my friends did into my 20s. Then in my 20s, I guess, belief in, in Christianity and belief in the idea of um, a God it kind of fell apart for me and I drifted away. And I wasn't really looking for anything. I wasn't looking for religion at all. And me personally, how I came to, to Buddhism was, um, it was kind of a funny story. Well, one night I was watching television and they showed a movie about the Dalai Lama. Um, that Martin Scorsese made. So I watched it, and at the end, I was like, that's very interesting. And I knew nothing about Buddhism. So just something in, kind of something turned my head about Buddhism. So I went to, um, went to a shop the next day, and I bought a book about Buddhism, and I read it. That's, that's pretty interesting. And again, I, I had no interest in religion or not joining a new religion, I guess. Um, but I was very interested by the idea of meditation. So this is about 12 years ago. So I googled meditation in Dublin, and I went along to a meditation centre, which was a kind of a secular meditation centre, but influenced by Buddhism. So I started practising there, and I practised there for a few years. So I was very much interested in meditation. So I've been meditating for about 12 years. But as I was meditating, I kept reading books about Buddhism. And more and more, the philosophy and the ideas made sense to me. So I began practising more earnestly uh, Buddhism and things like that. And I was kind of moving from school to school because Buddhism is very, very wide ranging. People don't realize this. People think that maybe Buddhism is one thing. It's as diverse as Christianity, if not more. So I did practice in a few places. And then eventually I, um, I found my teacher, who's the head of our center, Myozan Kodo. And I got in touch with Myozan. I started practicing with him. And when I found Zen Buddhism in particular, I really, really found my home. And I've been practicing, I've been a student of Myozan's now for six years, and I've been practicing with this community. The word we use is Sangha, so our Buddhist community is a, is a Sangha. So I've been practicing with the Zen Buddhism Ireland Sangha for six years and under my teacher Myozan. Uh, so I've really found my home in Zen Buddhism in particular, and that's what I've been practicing. Okay. Um, do you want me to say a little bit about what um, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that if you, in a few minutes, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I believe I believe that um, I said there Zen Buddhism Ireland run the Dublin Zen Centre. Can you tell me a bit more about who Zen Buddhism are, and and how you m- manage to uh, s- set up this great centre? Sure. So um, our founding teacher, our guiding teacher, is Myozan Kodo. He's a he's a he's a man from Galway. He lives in Dublin, and um, he set up. So he is a, he is a um, he's a he's a Zen Buddhist priest. And he um, he was ordained um, uh, a number of years ago um, by his teacher, and he um, he decided to set up his own sangha or his own community. So uh, about seven years ago, he set up Zen Buddhism Ireland, which is a Zen Buddhist group, and we we would what we would call ourselves we're a Soto Zen group. So within Buddhism, there's different schools, Zen being one of them. Within Zen, there are a number of schools, and we are. Soto Zen, which is a particular school of Zen Buddhism, comes from Japan. And Myozen set this up about seven years ago. And when we started practicing, we were moving from center to center and we were renting rooms off people. So we'd, we, we sit together on a Monday night as a community 
amongst other things and we were always renting rooms from other people and we'd have to move and people would stop renting the rooms for various reasons and then last year Muzan made the decision that we needed a centre of our own so we really started to go to work and we, we put in the work and uh, we, we we, we've launched the Dublin Zen Centre. Actually, last Sunday we had our grand opening and uh, we did a ceremony. Well, Miozan did a ceremony called the Eye Opening Ceremony where we officially installed our image of the Buddha. And that was our launch of the, of the centre. So we're now here in our own centre and hopefully we're going to be here for a long time. So, uh, you know, we're putting down kind of roots, you know. Oh, cool. Okay. Um... As you're saying there, there there's, there's 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 different Buddhist, Buddhist traditions, even in Zen Buddhism. Uh, there's different um, lineages. Um, th- there are other Buddhist centers from other lineages in Ireland, aren't there? And um, I believe there's a Zen Buddhist center in Belfast, is there? Yeah. So there's um, there's a number of different Buddhist centers in Dublin. Uh, you know, a lot of Tibetan centers and some other schools of Buddhism. In Belfast, there's Black Mountain Zen Center. Uh, which is a Zen center, and there's another Zen center in Dublin as well, from another lineage as well. So there's a few Zen centers, and um, so yeah, there's there's not there's not only a number of Buddhist centers around Ireland, but in particular, there's a few Zen Buddhist centers now. So we've we've joined the we've joined the community in that way. Okay, uh, Christians have the Bible and a lot of writings from Christian saints over the centuries. Uh, Islamists have the Quran and other writings. Do do Zen Buddhists have texts as well that you read? Yeah, we definitely do. So within the broader sense of um, of Buddhism, there's a huge amount of literature. So the the Buddha actually never wrote anything down, and nothing was written down in the Buddha's lifetime. So the Buddha lived two and a half thousand years ago, the historical Buddha, Gautama Buddha. But his 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 followers remembered his words, and they passed it down through an oral tradition, and eventually it was written down. And there's quite a large amount of Buddhist scripture. And there's things we call sutras. So there's various sutras, which are various different, kind of our, for want of a better term, our scriptures or our books. Um, And in particular for us, as Soto Zen Buddhists, we have a book called the Shobo Genzo, which actually wasn't written by the Buddha. So the Soto Zen, our kind of central figure, as well as the Buddha, is a man called Dogen. And Dogen lived um, about 800 years ago in Japan. And he really is the, he's the head of Soto Zen, essentially. He began Soto Zen. He didn't begin Zen, but he kind of, he, he established Soto Zen in Japan. And he wrote um, a book, although his, or I'd say his writings were collected into a book called Shobo Genzo. So that would probably be the most important book for Soto Zen Buddhists, uh, Shobo Genzo, by Master Dogen. That would probably be the text that we read the most and we study the most. Obviously, the words of the Buddha as well, and um, like famous sutras like the Heart Sutra, which we chant every morning. Um, but maybe if I, if you were to put me on the spot and say, what is your most important text? Probably I would say Shobo Genzo by Master Dogen. Mm. And the current Dalai Lama has great things to say as well. I have a couple of his books at home. Do, do you see the Dalai Lama as being like your Dalai Lama? No, so I'd say we have a huge amount of respect for the Dalai Lama. He, he's, a, he's a Zen monk. Um, he, he's a brilliant man. He's, he, he's, he's an amazing teacher. Um, specifically, he is not related to our lineage at all, and we wouldn't, we wouldn't revere him from the point of view. I mean, we have a huge amount of respect for him. But in regards to Buddhism, he's a very, very different school of Buddhism to us in one way. So the Dalai Lama is a, of a particular school of Tibetan Buddhism. We're a Japanese school, and Zen would be somewhat different to Tibetan Buddhism. Even within Tibetan Buddhism, the Dalai Lama wouldn't be the head of all the schools. So huge amount of respect for him, an amazing person, not only as a Buddhist, but as a world figure, I guess. But he is not, a, in our lineage, he's not related to us. Okay. Do you yourself, Kozan, and other Zen Buddhist members you have, have an interest, for example, in reading a lot of spirituality from other backgrounds and not just Zen Buddhism backgrounds? Well, I guess, yeah. I mean, I'm interested generally in, the, in these topics. Um, so I, 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 I have a particular interest in, in religion and spirituality, and I read it from a personal interest point of view. But I am, personally, I'm a committed Zen Buddhist, so I... 
you know, there's kind of a saying, if you want to dig a hole, stay in one spot. So I, 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 I'm, I'm deep diving on Zen Buddhism. It's, it's, it's the practice for me. Um, now, one thing I will say about Zen is, although books and words are very important, and we do do a lot of study, what's much more important to Zen Buddhists is the practice, the actual practice we do. So words and ideas and sayings are, of course, important. And, proverbs. <laughs> yeah, proverbs and all that kind of stuff are important. But the most important thing to a Zen Buddhist is the daily practice we do, the meditation practice. That's central to us. But, I, I mean, I, I, I have a lot of interest generally in these topics. I read them, but I wouldn't practice anything else other than my practice. Yeah, I personally have an interest in a lot of spirituality and read stuff from different faiths, and I love Reiki as well. I don't know if you know anything about Reiki. Okay, Colson, I haven't got many questions left. Is there anything else um, b- before we talk about kind of the future of the centre? You want to tell us about Zen Buddhism that, that, that might not have covered and that our, our listeners might be interested in? Yeah, well, what I would say is the, what, the most important thing about Zen Buddhism is the, the word Zen is the Japanese pronunciation of a word called Chan, which is a Chinese word, which is the Chinese pronunciation of a word called Jana, which comes from India. And jhana means meditation. So Zen Buddhism essentially means meditation Buddhism. And I think the most important thing listeners should know about Zen Buddhism is that the heart of our practice is a thing called Zazen, which is meditation. And it's a particular form of meditation. So we meditate in a very particular way. And we we take a particular posture with our body and we we keep our eyes open and we put our, we put our hands in a very particular way. Um, but we practice this as the central part of our practice. Now we do other things. We, we study the words of teachers. We do ceremonies. We chant. Every morning we do chants. We do offerings. We do ceremonies. All of that stuff is important. But at the heart of Zen Buddhism um, is, is meditation. And that's why our center is set up like this. It's, it's a meditation room. Um, and so that's, I think, if your listeners want to take away anything about what Zen Buddhism is, it is a form of Buddhism that really focuses on the act of meditation and what we call zazen which is uh, zazen means seated meditation so that's 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 what i would say about zen yeah i find the zen proverbs i have read um very like um intelligent words uh, brilliant words okay because on the official opening of the dublin zen center was only last week as you said to come towards the end of of the interview can you tell me if he's having any other plans for the future with the center and could you tell me again in summary um what your message is uh, to our listeners today on the rfm so the, the i suppose we, we've just established the center now as, as a sangha as a group we've been around for seven years um and this 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 is really an important week because we've established our own center we've been practicing in person for years but I suppose we want to expand what we can offer because we, we meet on Monday nights. We're also offering courses um, and that's something we want to keep doing. We want to also keep, not just as a place for sitting, but we're going to do courses. The plan is to expand and do things like family days where people can bring their children and find out about Buddhism. We can do weekend events. So now that we have our own space, we basically want to offer more to the people of Dublin and Ireland who want to come and practice Zen in various different ways. Meditation will always be the heart of it, but also studying scripture, study groups, ceremony, and all those kind of things. So the future, I think, is now just to utilize this space as much as we can to, to just... And we're not here to spread anything. We're not here to convert people. We are here to say our door is open. We are here practicing. If you would like to join us, you might find something in our practice that speaks to you. Maybe you won't. It's not for everybody. That's the other thing. Zen Buddhism is not for everybody. But we're here. We can now open our doors to people and you can come sit with us. And what I would say is to the listeners, you know, Zen is a practice. It's about living in the world. It's not about trying to gain something, about trying to create something. It's not about, you know, generating something it's not about getting anywhere zen buddhism to me this is just my take on it is about how we live as human beings in the world it's about day-to-day life so we as zen buddhists well my as a zen buddhist my practice is about 
how do I live day to day in this world? It's very real, it's very earthy, and it's about reality. It's about how do we live in the world? And I think that for me is what Zen is about. It is a practice that is about living in this world day to day.